Hey, welcome back to what Jack has made. In this video, we're going to be covering the WP GraphQL default limit in querying the number of posts or pages in your WordPress uh, system and how we can extend it. So if we go to our graphical dashboard area within our WordPress setup and we start writing out a query for all, all of the pages um, and then we get back for each page, we'll get back the title. <clears throat> This won't uh, provide too much of an issue because as you see, we get back uh, two pages and when you have a small number of pages, it's not too much an issue. But when we have the posts and we query all of the posts, by default, we get back 10 posts, which is fine because um, with GraphQL, you can specify a, um, a variable or sort of like a filter parameter. And one of them that you can use on posts is the first number of posts. And we can query up to 100 posts by default. So now we're getting back a much larger payload of JSON, which contains 100 posts. And if you look at the bottom, you can see full stack Hampshire. Um, and then just above that is an illustration called disruption might have done. And at the top, we've got read time in real time with React JS. But I have about, well, it's coming close to 300 posts now in my WordPress setup. So if we queried the first 300, then we get back the read time in real time. But when we go back down to the bottom, we still get the same full stack Hampshire and the illustration post. So if we go into my posts, we'll see that the first post I've ever made in my WordPress setup is actually a post saying that my website is now live. So you can see at the bottom, new website is live, and this should be the last item in the JSON payload. So this issue, I thought I got around at the start of the series by entering a higher number than 100, but there's actually a limit still in place. And I found some uh, issue on the WP GraphQL GitHub repository that was closed because um, Jason Ball replied and explained that there is a filter which you can add to your WordPress theme, which you have two options. You can either, well, you can do both of them if you want, but you can essentially change the default number of posts returned or pages or nodes. So you could, instead of the first 10 nodes being returned, you could change it to the first 100 nodes by default. So when you pass no parameters, you get 100 posts back. And the other filter will change the limit. So instead of having the limit at 100, I can raise it to 1000 in this example. So I've gone ahead and added this to my theme already, but I'll walk through how it works. So if we go into our, well, in my case, my bedrock setup, and then go down to our theme and open up the functions.php file, towards the top in uh, Timber theme setup, you normally have all of your filters and actions registered at the start of the file and they tend to reference functions that are found throughout the document and you could i guess split this up into a separate uh, directory if you wanted to so to add in our filter i've used the add filter wordpress hook which allows me to tap into graphql connection max query amount and i've passed in my own filter function which is called wp graphql tweaks and if I uncomment this function, you can see that we have the function being passed in an amount, the source, the arguments, context, and info. Um, this would this seems very familiar to me in terms of like a GraphQL uh, querying context, um, and I'm simply just changing the amount um, variable to 1,000 instead of the default 100. So if I go ahead and save this now and give this another click, we'll see what happens. So now, when we go to the bottom, new website is live. By uh, So we're getting all of the uh, blog post nodes now being returned to us in our uh, theme. So now when we go into our Gatsby environment, instead of being limited to the first 100 posts that we would normally be limited to, we can go ahead and run our developer script and what this should do now is pick up all 236 posts, I think I've got, and build out a page for each one. So when it's finished building, we should be somewhere between 250 and 300 pages being built. 
And now, as you can see, we've got our 298 pages being built. Gatsby's just finishing up the bundle process, but we're now pulling in all of the blog posts available to us. And again, this isn't a common issue because most um, Gatsby projects or people getting started out with Gatsby will be using their own portfolio site. And unless you're a busy bee and making a ton of posts like <laughs> I have over the last few years, then it won't really be an issue when you're trying to render less than 100 posts. But if you're working on a client website and uh, they need to render out their existing content, then this is something that you'll definitely need to be looking into. So I hope you enjoyed the video. The next few videos are going to be on extending Gatsby a bit more and building source plugins and sort of just a general tidy up of our system. So if you want to keep going, then stay tuned for the next video and leave a comment if you found this video helpful.